it's time for version 2.0. Now I made a version of a mouse trap just a little while ago. The only problem is the mice would be there, but if I had them overnight, I found I was having a lot of escapes. And uh, so I need to make some improvements on that. The materials I use for this build are pretty simple. It's some scrap wood, a uh, coat hanger, some stiff wire, some screws, washer is the optional thing. Clear plastic bottle with a larger cap is preferable. Um, and you'll see why later. And magnets. Um, I got these from eBay. They're really cheap, about just over a dollar for 50 of them. Now, with the exception of the uh, magnets, everything else is just stuff that I had lying around. Um, so it was pretty easy to build. I just had some leftover 2x4s, and I also had uh, scrap wood to make a little bit of a ramp for the mice to walk up. And pretty much you just pre drill everything and uh, screw it all together. Now as far as I know this is an original idea, I haven't seen anything like this, but I thought I had some magnets that I was using for the kids, uh, magnet boards, and I thought, okay, these are great. Let's see if I can use these magnets uh, for a mouse trap. And here's what I came up with. So major problem with this design has been when they've come in, pop it. And the mouse, unfortunately, has been able to actually jump all the way up and jump out. I thought with the funneling, there's no way that the mouse would be able to have a lucky chance and jump up, but with a nice strong jump, they've been landing right up to the top. And I've tested this out with two mice, and they've gotten out every single time within a matter of maybe like three four jumps and they're already out now what i found that i needed a bigger bottle cap actually so that there's enough space for the mouse to fit through after i did this kind of cross hatching in order to make the uh, space open up because the lids are pretty stiff so I put on a screwdriver use the heat gun to heat it up and then that will make it and let once it cools down it'll hold its shape and so it has that nice little funnel appearance where things can go in easy, but hard to get out. Now, all right, so this is where I use some Gorilla Glue to attach the magnet onto the lid. Now the lid in detail, this is what it'll look like. Pretty much set cross, 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 cross cut. Use the heat gun, spread it open. That's it. Now, another little problem that I had was because I used a bigger bottle, it's actually wider than the 2x4. So, those little uh, arms that would hold the bottle up, uh, if they went into the bottle, it would stop the bottle from rotating. Um, so I thought I'd make a little foam bracket, but then I thought, hey, let's use some hot glue. Hot glue is awesome. I was able to make a nice bracket, basically just a donut of uh, hot glue, so that the arm can rest in there, and it's the hinge right there. And here, the magnet catch right there, and hold it. The mouse will walk up, 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 go inside, go inside, I, 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 until the weight of it tips it over. Now, the mouse will be jumping, jumping, jumping up, and hopefully hit the spikes and not be able to grab anything and get out. And that's the plan. So this is the first night, set up the trap, rained a lot, um, so there's a little bit of water in the trap. Uh, I just uh, put some black sunflower seeds in there, and then bam, first mouse caught in the trap. Now the problem with the earlier design of this trap was that I didn't have a lid on top with that kind of starred funnel pattern, and the mouse would be in there, I'm pretty sure, because it was set and all the food's gone. Um, so I knew it must have jumped out or climbed out and I had no idea how that was until I tried uh, it with some mice and I found it, wow, they really can jump. 
and you'll see some evidence here of it trying to get out next coming up. Now that first mouse trap that I built in the very first video, um, again, too many escapes and I think this one should work better. You'll see here, cute little picture. Can you see the mouse on the top of the, just poking its head out, trying to get out and it falls down. Another jump up. See, one jump. Slow-mo. Look at that. I'm telling you, these mice are persistent. If anything that I learned about mice after making these traps is if there's a tiny flaw in your design, they will find it, they will exploit it, and they will get out. You can see, it's those little teeth are just grabbing into the fur and it just won't let it get past. And it tries multiple, multiple times. I try, I'm sure it tried it all night, but to no avail. Now maybe a smaller mice be, my, ma mouse might be able to get out. I think it's just perfecting the size of the hole and seeing what will work. But so far so good. This is my very first mouse trap from a design uh, basically copied off of Chris Notap. Very similar design, not exactly the same as his. And I added a bunch of different supports to really keep that bottle locked in place so the mouse couldn't push. But the problem with this is I found that they were still able to escape. Some didn't, um, but I think I found more times often than not they would escape. Those little buggers can find any way out, a little bit like a millimeter here and there they can reach through and they're able to get out. So I think my new design is better. Uh, I think time will tell and uh, thus far uh, it's been working really well and no escapes. So currently mouse count three, escape zero, and that's in three nights only. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's always so much fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.